It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And this one features Kareem Hunt. He was steady for him on the ground a week ago, reaching the century mark and adding a score. It's the Chargers and the Raiders, and it's all up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the L.A. Chargers. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger club entering play here. They've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three, three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a... Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he returns this to the 22. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. The numbers on the ground for Hunt a week ago. 21 carries, 107 yards, and the touchdown. And the way they ran the ball last week's game has to be satisfying to their entire staff because they're seeing not just a back gain big yardage, but they're seeing an offensive line really in sync. To throw is gone. Got a man, that's Ayu. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a charger first. First and ten, golf. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. The Chargers hit 3 0 here in the month of September. And they coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their dip. And he's going to be taken down. Golf is sacked. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. Well, these sacks are really piling up. Last week, it was a half dozen sacks, and here's one on the opening drive. And it has the potential to be what we call a gap, a game-altering play, because, let's face it, you just mentioned six sacks last week. Now, if you're on offense and you saw that on tape, you've got to think to yourself, maybe I bring people in, keep them in, and try and protect my quarterback. It didn't work on that play. Golf. Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football but at the same time you're looking at them and going where are the weaknesses how are we going to move it one of the top defenses in the nfl for a reason we just saw one example right there throw caught out wide by Renfro. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When you talk about the defense for these Chargers, they were very good a week ago in the win over Minnesota. They held them to well under 200 yards of total offense. That's a number you can really focus on, too, because the way offenses run in today's game, they're usually pretty smooth, and they give you a lot of misdirection, a lot of trickery. To the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. A first down and then some, 36 yards. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited about what they expect to see down the road. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Now Herbert off the bootleg. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Justin Herbert, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Raiders use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. And there's a little bit of a case of back to the future because Justin Herbert as a rookie, five rushing touchdowns, three in 2021, and none last year. I think that speaks to his development as a pocket passer and trusting his receivers more and more. But in this case, trusted himself and found the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here's Jakeem Grant from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. That's out quickly to London. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Golf. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First run now for Kyron Williams. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and four. Handoff up the middle. Hunt, just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. You look at this Raiders defense. Now they come in a top 10 unit against the pass, currently eighth in the NFL. You have to like the way that they played in the first month. They have to be very proud of being a top 10 unit against the pass. They're going to go in this one. Let's see if they can improve that ranking. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, take it and run. Chargers are an extra point away from drawing level. Partner, remember that old film of Peyton Manning going through the route tree with his great receivers in Indianapolis? I think we're seeing the results of the same type of work here today. These guys know each other so well that they don't even have to call the play. They can just look each other and know the route that's going to be run, and usually the connection is perfect. Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was Brandon Ayu capping it off with the touchdown reception. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Now early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. 
And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Herbert. He's got a man. That's Marshall. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and five. A give up the middle to H.A. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, well, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. On first and 10, Herbert caught on the right side, Reed. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Second down and three. Back to the ground with Pierce. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. It's a first down following a gain of three. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That's going to be caught by Reed. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Raiders have taken the lead. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt. That one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Jared Goff in the offense, back onto the field. He had the interception on the opening drive, but bounced back to throw a touchdown last time out. And he'll look to build on that as they start first and 10. There's Goff. 
And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. On second down, here's Goff. Swings this out for Hunt. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He said, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game, that's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Goff. That would tip to it. It's incomplete. A good hands there defensively. And second down. Again, Goff. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. His first catch, good for 14 there, and a first down. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try to keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 40. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. They'll get this down to the 38. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The Chargers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 15-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now a handoff. Hunt's going to run left. And he stopped immediately there. It's the Pro Bowler Chandler Jones who makes the tackle. Second and ten. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Musgrave's got it out right. So just three yards on the completion there. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third. Goff. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage, and now it's fourth. They love to try to take advantage of his height, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them try to run it back and try it again, maybe with a little less mustard on the throw. And his kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. No run back here. Down to a knee. And this drive will start at the 25. Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. And this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three. Because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive, has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. 
do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Out of the gun, Herbert. And this one nearly picked off. Oh, kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. H.A. now up the middle. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and 10. Throw left side, taken in by Renfro. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Running left, it's A-Chain. Fighting him off. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Play action. It's Herbert. Catch made. It's Moreau. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a gain of 19 down to the 19, and it's a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Hand off right side to Pierce. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Damian Pierce, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Raiders are able to widen their advantage. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Grant, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So that if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. A nice pickup by Hunt, and you know he is hungry to be a more featured player in an offense. This is still the guy who led the league in rushing as a rookie in 2017, and he has proven since that he can still be an impact runner. Goff. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, man. They're putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Now it's gone.
That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Here's Jordan Stout now. Devin Tompkins deep to return it. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Offense back out there along with Damian Pierce. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Throw left side, caught by the portal. Look at the big fella go. Inside the 20. And he gets it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 78 yards. With that last throw, Charles puts him over 15,000 yards passing now for his career. And Brandon, they're not going to stop the game and give him the game ball here, but that's still a pretty impressive number, and he's got plenty of more good football ahead of him. Although I would say the team should give him a game ball after it's all over. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he's got Renfro in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. A three-yard touchdown pass, and the Raiders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. The touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. And I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Jakeem Grant now to return. This is Jakeem Grant. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Chargers are going to take over now late in this first half. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. Goff on first down. Over the middle, caught by London. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. To throw on second down is gone. On the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as we say goodbye to September and take a look around the NFL here on this first day of October. strong performance in that first half he wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break all right coach thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three the Raiders with the lead already and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway taking it about the one and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. But this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I 
have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. On second down, a run by H.A. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. Now we get a stoppage because a member of the Raiders is shaken up on that one. More from L.A. in a moment. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Herbert. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And they have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Goff now looks to throw. His throw incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Pierce, and he'll get this to the 32. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And the defense closes quickly there, and he'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. That is caught. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. H.A. not first and ten. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Third and five. Now it's Herbert. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And it appears we have a charger shaken up on that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He's got a man. That's Marshall. It'll be a gain of five. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. 
This is intercepted. Picked up by Michael Davis. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. The Charger drive about to get going. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Here's Goff now on second down. They'll find Ayuk open right side. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, but instead, a handoff up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's second and seven. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. Now gone. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. Hunt will try going up the middle. A solid stiff arm. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go-around. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. They'll try the air now with Goff. And that's too tall for his receiver. It's incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. They'll run with Hunt on second down. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Goff now to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drive. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. On the ground, it's Pierce to begin the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 53 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Out of the gun, here's a give to A-Chain. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. 
Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Uh, give left side for Pierce. Oh, some strong running. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A Raider first down, 17 yards. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. Herbert off of play action, rolling to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Going for it with Pierce. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. Call it a gain of five, fourth down now. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. On the return from his end zone is Grant. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Chargers offense back onto the field. Remember, they have won three straight, but getting to four straight does not appear to be in the cards as they are in a big fourth quarter hole. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. Shifts by him. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Ball start. Offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. Gone. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The Chargers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and 15. From the gun, here's gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now a first down throw, gone. And down he goes, brought down a sack and now they're in the hurry up Goff now looking to throw and he drops it incomplete and their struggles continue here this is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively they were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw now on third and long they'll look to throw throw right side taken in by Ballinger all right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. 
They go ahead and snap it. Gone. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. So they convert on fourth. And now from just outside the 30, here's first and 10. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Short completion, just four yards. And it'll be second down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Goff throwing again. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. On first down, gone. His throw caught right around the six. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. There's gone. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Hunt. Touchdown, Chargers. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drive spans 13 plays. And Kareem Hunt, the one to finish it off, as he did so with a touchdown run. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Powering his way forward. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. First and 10, it's Pierce. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll go right back to Pierce. And he powers his way up past the 30. Holding offense. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 93 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Here now, third and a yard. They'll run for it with A-Chain. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Las Vegas sending out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. And he returns it into enemy territory down the 45-yard line. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Now it's gone. Got London on a slant. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A shotgun snap for gone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Drake London 
His first touchdown of the year. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, I know it's an old line, but it still applies here. The fat lady has not sung yet. She may be warming up, but she hasn't sung yet. There's still an opportunity. Now Moody for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was finished off by a touchdown catch from Drake London. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now. By word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. H.A. now up the middle. A shifts past him. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there. Gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. And now defensively they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive game, that's nice, but works some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit out and running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Herbert now to throw. And it is caught. And he's going to have a Raider first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. And with that kneel down at the end of the game, partner, they now get to three and one. This is a good football team we saw in this game. It is indeed getting to two games above 500, and I know early on, while they said they wanted to win every game, they thought they would be solid with a three and one start, and here they are. Yeah, you break your schedule up almost into quarters. Every four games in assess, three and one, any team would take that. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I tell you what, one thing that you and I featured as a storyline was that they were facing the NFL's number one defense coming in, and they really took it right to them. Yeah, they didn't blink, did they? And instead of just saying to themselves, let's make sure that we minimize our mistakes and try and play a conservative type game, they attacked right from the beginning. Said, we've got to go after these guys. I think sometimes you take the number one rated defense by surprise when you do that. So for the Raiders, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Southern California.